Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We have another Acura MDX in the shop. We just had one a little while ago with all those many customer complaints. This one has just one customer complaint. Battery going dead. Let's read the complaint and see if we can reproduce and diagnose this issue. All right, here we go. Acura MDX 2006 electrical drain. I had a Monroe remove the Bluetooth as per your video, but the battery will be dead in eight to 10 hours and needs a jump. Starts up again. I had an alternator installed 10 months ago. Is this something you can look at? Eight to 10 hours. That sounds like a massive battery drain. So a common drain source on these older Acuras is the hands-free link unit like a Bluetooth or something um, that's basically useless it just kinda goes nuts after 10-15 years and doesn't go to sleep so that's the first thing I check on these Acuras but the customer said the battery goes dead in 8 to 10 hours and this Bluetooth hands-free link unit was already unplugged uh, in the overhead console. So, okay, um, he said the, the battery he also had tested at AutoZone and they said your battery is fantastic. Um, you know, that's not your problem. So let's go to the car, measure the draw, and see if we can reproduce this draw. Okay, well to make this video quick, I've actually already completed the diagnosis, but I'll walk you through the steps. So first thing, pulled the car in here and just threw my ammeter in series on the negative battery post. So right now you see 220 milliamps. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not normal. That will definitely draw your battery down. Not in 8 to 10 hours though. It'll take probably 2 or 3 days at that rate. That's like a little dome light being left on. Unless your battery is already depleted or can't hold a charge. So, but initially, the car went to sleep less than a minute, 16 milliamps. So I thought, oh, here we go, intermittent customer complaint. This might take a while. So, you know, scanned it for codes, health report didn't show anything interesting, just low battery codes, because he's, he's had to jump start it like every day. Um, but 16 milliamps, perfectly fine. So I decided to measure the capacity of the battery. What's the easiest way to do that? No, it's not with a smart battery checker or something that prints out a little, hey, your battery's good. No, that's all garbage. All you want to do, put a voltmeter on the battery and turn your headlights on. So I did that, headlights, low and high beams, it was drawing 25 amps. A good battery should be able to maintain that for, I don't know, 20 minutes or something and still be able to start the car. Well, I noticed on this battery that was fully charged, the customer you know, just drove it here, battery voltage is fine, 13 volts. The voltage dropped below 11 volts in less than 5 minutes. You could see it just drop, drop, drop. Try to start the car, da, 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 you know, classic low voltage. So we know right now that this fresh looking Duracell battery is junk. Um, it can't hold a charge, I put a charger on it. It, it only accepted six, you know, almost seven amp hours, but a good battery should be like 80 amp hours. And, you know, it's fully charged. It's basically being just topped off right now. So, okay, battery's junk. Right after the failed start attempt, again, turn the key off, close the doors, and put the ammeter back on the battery. The uh, in-series. Well, guess what? Now, it's consistently reading 200... 25 milliamps not 16 220 Mike all right well now we reproduce the customer complaint so basically this small draw together with a battery that's been fully discharged and charged the battery capacity is junk so that's why it goes dead in 8 to 10 hours makes perfect sense now now all we have to do is track down this parasitic draw so let's do that next. 
So like I said on these Acuras, hands-free link system. That's the first thing I check. So I want to check, did they unplug the right thing? I don't know what they did. That's just what the customer told me. So I want to check the main constant battery power fuse that goes to this hands-free link unit. Is there a voltage drop on there? First thing we're going to check. So which fuse is that? There's a circuit diagram. So it says under hood sub fuse box number 10 fuse 7.5 amp. If you want to zoom in you can do that. There it is. White and green wire pin 11 on the hands free control unit. Okay so under hood sub fuse box that would be this little thing right here fuse 10. And fuse 10 says if I back up can we just pull that fuse? Well it also goes to the PCM and the TPMS receiver unit. Um, if you go to power distribution fuse 10 7.5 amp PCM, TPMS, and hands-free link control unit. So if we pull that fuse, we won't know which one of these three modules is drawing, but we don't even know if there's a voltage drop in this fuse. So let's go check that. We know where it is. Right here, fuse number 10. So it's going to be the second, one, second fuse up in this row. Um, see if there's a voltage drop on that fuse. All right, so you guys can see the meter there. So that's millivolts. If we touch the two leads together, it should go to 0.00. .00 and it does. So this 7.5 amp fuse right here in this little tiny fuse box, we measure that. What do you see? One. Let me get on that fuse a little better. about 1.9 millivolts, so 2.0 millivolts on that fuse. And I checked the other ones just to make sure your meter is good. We'll see zero on all the other ones. So okay, we're on the right track. Now, since that fuse feeds multiple modules, I want to go right to this hands-free link unit and see what these guys unplugged. Okay, so let's look at some pictures where this thing lives. So front of roof 04 to 06, there's the uh, sunroof, roof console, hands-free link unit uh, it's behind, behind this panel, I guess. And then this thing also has navigation. There's an OnStar control unit. See, with navigation, that lives... Um, in the center console. So you see OnStar is right there. Hands-free is up by the roof. So let's um, pull off this console. It looks like four screws. You gotta remove the map lights. And right there, arrow B is if equipped with HFL, disconnect the HFL unit connector B. Let's go there and see what we find uh, behind this console. All right, took a couple minutes. Got the console off. So four screws. What do we see here? I see one connector unplugged. Uh, it's a three pin blue to gray. Okay. And where's our hands-free link unit? It has to be this box right here. Guys, <laughs> that box is warm because it's still plugged in. They didn't unplug the Bluetooth. They unplugged the auto-dimming mirror. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, on our thermal camera, oh, look at that. Nice and warm, like 90 degrees. Fahrenheit. <laughs> so they never even touch the hands-free link unit. They just unplug the auto dimming mirror. So let me plug the mirror back in. Make sure our draw doesn't like spike or anything. And then we'll unplug the 
actual problem, which was the hands-free link unit all along, like I mentioned in the video. Okay, well, let's get our meter set up. So we've still got our 230 milliamp draw. Let me put this in the window. When we unplug that hands-free link unit, I want this to go to like 10 or 15 milliamps. All right, guys, I'm going to focus you in on the mirror while I unplug this hands-free link unit. And get to the connector, and boom. 20 milliamps, we're done. Simply amazing. All right, battery's hooked back up. Hands-free link unit is unplugged. Let's start the car and then shut it off and see what and you know how it goes to sleep, what the final battery draw is. There's our drive cycle. Okay, let's uh Put the ammeter back on. Okay, so we're starting at one amp, and we're gonna see how many minutes it takes to drop, hopefully down to closer to 10 or 20 milliamps. In literally 30 seconds, we're down to about 15 to 20 milliamps. Totally happy with that, and that's it. So what's the moral of the story? Yes, you can watch a YouTube video and you can tell your shop, please do this procedure, but you still have to do your research. I mean, um, like that 2009 Acura MDX, that hands-free link unit was under the center console. This one, is, it's in the overhead console. And there's other things there, auto mirror, you know, all kinds of switches and stuff. So if you don't do your research, these guys just unplugged the, the wrong thing. Your car would have been fixed, but, you know, it is what it is. So, now it's guaranteed, fixed, it still needs a battery, but uh, still the hands-free link unit. So, if you own an Acura, that's 99% of the time your parasitic draw. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.